and welcome to another episode of Game Creation and we are going to continue the theme this week of not focusing at all on games and focusing on applications and we've got quite a simple and quite a quick video today on a tool that I have used before um, and it, I needed something specific so I do uh, online tuition uh, so online going through questions and stuff and I wanted to see whether Click Team could help me um, go through a question. So I've got a, a PNG file or a JPEG file of a question, and then I want to use my graphics tablet, which I've got here, um, to go through and write the right answer, okay? And um, I used to use the iPad, but it was just really fiddly to set up, and there was just a whole process to get it done. I thought, well, maybe I could use Click Team for this. So I bought myself a Cintiq something or other um, graphics tablet so I could write on it and made a program with Click Team using this tool. So which tool is it? Let's have a look. So new project and we are of course going to be using the draw tool and so if you don't know uh, if you don't have it go to the manager and see I think it's available to everyone and what it does is it, it this actually does show up on the screen so it matters where you put this and I'm going to do it like most of the screen, but I'm going to leave a bit here so we can see what happens. Now, if I run it now, it won't you won't see anything, okay? But if you draw on it, it will just let you draw. How cool is that? It's that simple. And what you can do is you can um, have a kind of start of frame thing and go, oh, I don't want to just free brush. I want to have a line tool, right? And so let's run it now. Instead of a brush, it will write draw lines for you then you can change the tool to anything you want like you can see all of this stuff here um, and you can have it so that when you press a button or press a keyboard so we're going to press a key the keyboard upon pressing Z we want it to be brush and then X it can be like a rectangle and then if we run it now we can have a brush and then an X and then draw a rectangle. And this is really, really useful for going through um, text because I think there was also a highlighter function uh, that I could do with it. So, because you can set the transparency of the line that you draw. So effectively you're drawing um, a highlight, right? So you can highlight keywords and stuff with this, which is really cool. You can also, um, I think the, yeah, so you can draw your own line, right, from a coordinate to a coordinate. So X coordinate zero, zero, um, and then, oh, I don't know, then draw a line to 100, 100, is that how it works? I think you need to start the line. I think, yeah, you need to move it first, so we'll move these down so B so C we're gonna have to move the tool so we're gonna move the tool to zero zero and then we're gonna draw the line but we don't need that one <sighs> fiddling about with this so if you imagine there's like an imaginary mouse on the draw tool we're moving it to point zero zero and then we're gonna draw a line to point one hundred a hundred right so if I press C, it's moved the kind of imaginary cursor to zero, zero. And then when I press V, it moves it to 100, 100. So you can imagine now that um, if you want a tool, for instance, I needed these lines. I needed there to be two lines going downwards. So like that without these top and bottom. Okay, it's part of the working out for the questions I was doing. And what I did was I... Uh, remembered where the mouse was when the user pushed it down and then I dragged it out like this and then remembered when they let go and then I got this tool to draw the lines for me so it's draw a line down from the starting X to the ending Y and draw a line down from the ending X to sorry yeah the ending X uh, all the way down to the ending Y um, and it's just such a versatile tool um, and the completed project um, was a thing of beauty. Um, and uh, in fact, I'm going to pause it and see whether I can open it. Okay, I managed to get it to load. 
Um, I'm on a different computer, but it seems to be working fine. So we've got a pen tool here, so you can just change that. You can change the color of it. This is quite difficult for me to do because the mouse disappears. <laughs> so we've got this straight line thing, so it only shows a straight line. This is all using that same tool. I think it's using the same tool. Then we've got this highlighter option here, and so you can draw a highlighter. And again, this is really difficult because I can't see where my cursor is. And we can change it to blue, change it to anything we want. Um, and then we've got this square tool, so you can just or rectangle tool, so I can just highlight key points. And oh, got my mouse tool back. And um, you can just clear at any time. And the highlighter tool is pretty cool. Um, and the other highlighter, this one, keeps it at um, a level, f like, because with text, it's normally from left to right. So this just keeps it left to right, um, which is really, really useful. Um, so yeah, this is what I've managed to build. And it did not take me very, very long at all, um, which was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's what you can create with a kind of simple tool. The, the draw tool is not a complicated tool. It's all just working straight away. You don't need to set it up at all. I mean, you saw I dragged it and it worked the only thing to be careful of is it will only work on the draw object so i left a little part of it um undone in fact i should probably go back to that now and have a look at that yeah so here you can see it kind of stops suddenly and that's because on here i've not got the draw object the full height and width and you can change that in code you can just say at the start of frame make it the same width and height as the screen right um, or you can just do that here, so 00, zero was it, 640 by three eight, 480. And then it will work just fine. And you can, you, as you can see, we can change the color of it, we can do all sorts of advanced things. And this is the point of, of this series, this fortnight, is to get you started on what Click Team can do. And it might be that you are a teacher or an instructor or a professor or something, or someone who wants um, to create a Zoom conversation with people you work with and explain things and you just want to be able to highlight them easily um, and you know maybe Adobe costs way too much or whatever which it does um, and Click Team can do it for you you can just make a program to simply import the document um, and if you're working with PDFs I think there is a PDF viewer on Click Team but what I would recommend is to convert the PDF into high quality PNGs and then import the high quality PNGs um, into Click Team and then have that as a, z a layer zero and then have the draw object on top and you can just draw over the document um, and it's dead easy to do um, once you've got it set up you can just keep using it um, and what I've done before as well is had um, I used to have this import the document and then I just thought well, why am I doing that instead what I do is copy the document and then I can just have a function on here that pastes in the document so I don't need it connected to anything I don't need the document to be in a specific area I can get the document wherever I want maybe from the internet you can copy an image and then you can annotate it etc etc um, and you can use the clipboard um, function on your keyboard to take a copy of any document and then paste it into Click Team. Um, so hopefully one of you watching this video is like, actually that would totally be what I need to be able to do what I want to do. And that's the point of this week. So if this has inspired you, let me know in the comments. I am out of ideas um, for for this next fortnight. So I am purely reliant on you coming up with ideas of stuff you want me to go through for this non game fortnight. Um, so if you write them in comments, any object that you're like, oh, I, I've always looked at that, but I don't know what it does, um, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will sit down and have a think tonight and think what I can come up with for tomorrow. But I want to do this for two weeks because I think this we could do this all year with the amount of applications you can do with Click Team. Anyway, that's going to be uh, it for right here. So if you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to see more from us, click subscribe. Thank you very much.